Hello everyone. This is Monday, January the 9th, I believe. January the 9th, that's 2023. It's 12 noon in downtown Halifax and we got a temperature of plus four with a wind chill of making it feel like plus one. Still not bad. Okay, so I'm on South Street. We're gonna walk up South Street and then we're gonna maybe take a couple more streets up here. Explore this end. This is in the south end of Halifax. And I'm walking westward, going uphill. Away from downtown. I guess it's got to be safe down here. At least in the south end, I don't know about everywhere. Probably every area got a different day like that. Well, it's not too windy again today. There's there's pockets where you feel the wind more than others, but for the most part, it's pretty good. I think I felt wind once on my way down here. Well, this is a steep hill. Good for the, good for the cardiovascular to uh, walk these steep hills. Good exercise, regardless of your age. Young or old can benefit from these steep hills. Every truck was loud when it went by. All right, we are up here to Queen Street. definitely shifted. I see a flag over there pointing. Uh, let's see. It's pointing north, east. So our wind is coming from the north, from the south. The wind is coming from the southwest. So that flag is pushing to the northeast. Um, that's better. Southwest is better than yesterday. Yesterday was really cold. It was coming right up the north. The wind has shifted today. So, <clears throat> a little better. A little better condition. It's a little breezy right where I am at the moment. But I think we'll be, I think we'll be okay as I get down the hill here. We're right on the crest of the hill, so bound to get a little bit more wind up here. But once I get these buildings across the road from me, the wind right out. <clears throat> so, oh, I'm getting a breeze right now. I left my microphone out with my phone today because, in case I have to plug my battery in again, like I did yesterday, that worked really well. That can't use the microphone when I have to plug my battery in. But 
it really does work to carry a wire and you can plug your battery in, carry your battery in your backpack, in your pocket, and and you can plug your phone in and keep it all charged up. Because these phones, when they get, before they get two years on them, the batteries don't hold as good. <clears throat> That's what happened to my last one. <clears throat> the phone still worked, but I couldn't keep the battery charged. So I traded it in and got this one. It was great for the first year, a little more, a little more than a year. It was great, and gradually the battery started shorter life, shorter life, and now it don't, it don't last long enough to walk most days. It probably will in the summer again when things are warmer, but right now it, it doesn't. So I'm prepared if my battery goes dead, I can just grab that cable and plug it in and keep everything going. shield me from the wind it does over here much better not near as windy as that side okay we'll stay on to the south side since the wind is coming from the south west if I stay on the south side I'll be closer to the buildings and it'll probably work out for me Oh, I know what I want to do. I was telling one of my viewers uh, about Kilm, Kilm Apartments. They were looking for a place to come and live in Halifax where they could do it online. And to my, my friend who was inquiring about it, right here, here it is. Ted Apartment is here, Kilm Apartments. And there's your email address right there, Kilm. REIT.com. Okay, there you have it. They have apartments all over the entire city. Several locations in Dartmouth and many locations in Halifax as well. And they have apartments for whatever you can afford. Different, different, different incomes can afford different apartments. When we came here, I moved down from Ontario. I was retired. I was on my pensions. My wife didn't have any income. And so we we took the, the, the cheapest, maybe not the cheapest, but we tried to economize. And we're still there four and a half years later. We're still in the same place. And so it's not, not that bad. I mean, it's not, it's, it's not the, the Hilton, but it's, it's, it's still not a bad, not bad place where we live. I don't think it is. Oh, let me just get myself balanced out here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's a, too bad a place at all, really. Maybe, maybe some of, some of the rooms are a little bit small. But we're talking about the prices of rent. When we moved in, I think we paid nine forty or something like that. But now they they are up around eleven, twelve hundred. But that's still the fall I was talking to was was looking for something fifteen or under, and I was pretty sure he could get one where somewhere like a neighborhood where we live because we're not paying 15 even the people moving in aren't paying that they're paying like 12 13 depending on what you get something like that neighborhood okay so it's still possible still possible to find a rent under $1,500 in this city 
but don't delay. If you if you can come here, the sooner the better, and you get you'll get your apartment cheaper than it will be this time next year. Because they keep going up. It's it's uh it's price and demand. Okay, when the demand is high, the prices go up. When there's no demand, the prices come down. Uh, that's that's pretty much the situation we're in. There's a lot of people coming here from many places. Toronto, a lot of people came here from Toronto. And like we did. And there's a lot of people coming from different countries as well as to Halifax. So, anyways, that's my spiel about that. Speaking of apartments, there's the South Town apartments right there. for what you get. You just, you know, if you're, if you're in a bind, you don't have a lot of money, you got to take something in an area where you'd rather not. Well, I got wind blowing on me again here now. So, we'll see how this goes. Whenever I get in an open space, I get wind. So, we'll try to, we'll try to work with the buildings and uh, stay out of the wind if I can. I'm still on South Street. I might go a little farther down now. Let's see. Maybe. Fifty-eight hundred South, where I am right now. In the south end of Halifax, not a bad area. South end's good. My favorite area is the north end. I like the north end, but everybody's different. I probably spend more time in the north end than I do other places because I like it better up there, but I don't live in the north end. I, I live over in Dartmouth, because that's where, when we came here, let's go down Wellington Street, okay? Just for something to do. Let's go down Wellington. Going south on Wellington. Veering off the beaten trail here. Well, this is still a beaten trail, I guess. It's paved, so it must be, right? Okay. Not changing my course. Going south now. Well, I gotta say this winter has been a quite a surprise. Look at look at what do you see here? You see not very much snow. Remnants of about Three or four centimeters we had a few days ago. That's all you see here. It looks like spring, but it's not spring yet. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes, okay? That's the only thing we can say. We don't know. It could start snowing and pile down two or three feet in the next month, but it might not. It might not. Well, I know one thing, the temperature's better than we'd seen in a long time. I remember last winter, it was cold out here. And the winter before that, I couldn't walk very far without freezing my hands. I mean, they get cold sometimes this year, but not like, not like last year and the year before. It was really cold. But we managed to get through it and made videos all winter long for the last couple of years. We go through it, but this year is much, much, much milder. Oh, my phone is tipping here just a minute now. Okay, there we go. I got to straighten back up. Sometimes these things can be a little bit 
strange. They don't always work like they're supposed to. There's a building that's going up right here. It's going to be, there's a picture. It will tell you how many stories it's going to be. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight stories and then a, a something on top. It might be a meeting place or something like that on top. So nine stories all together. Eight full ones and then one on the top. So eight or nine stories. Let's compare it to that right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. About half the height of that one. There's, well, I've been around Halifax now for four and a half years. And I've been the south end a fair bit. But I got to tell you, I don't know every street down here. And there's a lot of streets I don't know much about them at all. So, this is one of them. This is a street that I don't know that much about. But we'll discover as we go. I see something. I didn't know it was here. Let's go explore. Feel like exploring? All right. We're going to explore. Maybe, if it's not too windy. There's a park in here. And I don't believe I've ever been in it. I've seen it. <clears throat> so, we're gonna go in and see where it, what, 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 what it is. If the wind don't blow too hard, I don't have my mic in, and the wind starts blowing hard, I may have to uh, change course, okay? I'll bring my camera a little closer so I can talk into it. And that way I can cover up maybe a little bit of wind. Right here, it's okay. This is called Gorse Brook Park. Gorse Brook Park. And it says it's on Roby Street, so I must be up almost to Roby. It says it's on 1111 Roby Street. So, Gorsebrook Park. It's right here. The hospital's up there. So I'm down and kind of behind the hospital area. Gorsebrook Park. First time I've been in it, and it looks like a skating rink right here. We got to go see if this is a skating rink. Looks like it would be. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Well, it would be a skating rink, but right now there's uh, nets in here, and about all you could play would be ball hockey. Normally, this time of year, the ground would be froze, and you could put water in there, and have a skating rink. But this year is not a normal year. This is a, uh, I don't know if it's global warming or just a, a fluke, what we're getting this year. But this is definitely not like anything we've had before. No, like anything. This is like a totally different climate this year. You would never see this in January on the East Coast. You would see this time in January, you would be likely to see anywhere between minus 10, 15, all the way up to minus 30. That's, that's temperatures in January in Eastern Canada. So this is a very, very unusual. There's a ball field in here and a walkway that ends right there. And look, they got kiln advertised again here. So my friend that were that wanted to know about apartments, there they are again advertised, kiln. Kiln property, 3700 Kemp Road, which is in the north end. Okay but their apartments are all over the city. 
So don't be afraid to call them or text them or, or, or email them, I guess the best would be. Email them and you can have your apartment all arranged before you get here. I'm going back out the other way because I just came in to see this park, see what was here. I'll just take a picture of that sign on the way out there. I'll focus on it for a minute. Then if anybody wants to find this park, you come down, you come up South Street. If you're on Barrington, you go up the hill on South Street. And I'll tell you what street you take. A, if you're going up on up the hill, you take a left on this street out here, which I don't know, it might be Wellington, but I'm not sure. I got to see see what street that was, okay? And then I'll tell you how to get to this park. That's how it looks like. Normally there's hockey in here. The boys are all set up for hockey. But there's no ice because we got temperatures. Like I said, today's four degrees. Feels like one with the wind chill, but it's still four degrees. You can't freeze ice in four degrees. You might see a little bit of frozen stuff here and there from yesterday. It might have went below zero. Here's the, here's the park right here. All right. I'll get close enough so you can see it, okay? There we go. We're on Lund Lundy or Lundy's Lane entrance right here. Okay, Gorse Brook Park. There you have it. Okay. I see a public toilet here, and I need to go. And it don't look like it's locked. So I'm gonna see if I can go in there. Just gonna take a break. Okay, I'm back. I was only gone a minute. I'm back, okay. So I'm gonna walk over to the street. And I promised you I'd let you know what the street was out here. So if you want to find Gorsebrook Park, not a big deal, but you might want to go there if you're if you live in the South End and you're new to the area and don't know what's here. Well then, this information might come in handy for you. Okay. All right, we're gonna go down the hill, down the street, and then I'll, for a street sign I come to, I'll tell you what the street is. Okay. And you turn right down through the parking lot of Century Tower, 1074. Right. Lots of apartments in this area. Apartments abound everywhere down there. So, no trouble getting an apartment. Just a matter of finding something that fits your budget. You have to live somewhere, so. Eventually, you'll have to pay something. You can't get it. And prices are not what they were even a couple of years ago. So, but you can get apartments here. You know, the going rate is probably, the ballpark is probably, is probably 1,500. Then there's some that are less. And there's some that are more, depending on what you need to get. I know we're paying a whole lot less because we've been in our apartment for almost five years. So naturally, it's less. They were, they were 800, 800 and something when we moved in. Now we're up to nine, I think 940, 950, somewhere in there. I'm not sure. Nine's up there with, which is a bargain at today's prices. Oh, look, there's another entrance to the park. Gorsebrook Park, and there's swings and stuff over there, which I didn't see all of the park. 
So there's more of it over there. And the actual address is 111 Roby Street, but we are on Wellington, Wellington Street entrance. All right. We're coming up to English Street, which will take me back down into the, to the Barrington area, if I want to go down there. But we'll see. We'll see which direction we want to take. I'm not sure. We will see after that where we want to go. I know where this is, because I did a video in here one day. My, my friend that used to live down here, and she moved up to Ontario, because she married a, a guy from Ontario, and they moved, back, they moved up there, and so, Just for you. I'll just, I'm not going in and show it because I did it once before. But I'm just walking around the edge of it here. Okay, just around the edge of it here. St. Mary University, there you go, right there. Right there, your old workplace. I say hi to you and Curtis both, and hope you're having a good day today. Hope you had a great Christmas, and a happy new year. I haven't seen you guys in a while, or talked to you in a while, but anyways, uh, since I'm in the neighborhood, I thought I might as well give you a shout out my friends in Ontario. Newmarket, no less. Newmarket, Ontario, where we used to live at one time. Just not too far from where Curtis lives. Just uh, where we used to live. One of the places. The other one's a little farther away, but not, not that far. So anyways, yeah. Do I miss Ontario? Sometimes. Sometimes I do. There's things I miss. But I'm happy to be here. I'm happy here in Halifax. I think it's a nice city. Not too big, not too small. It's got everything you want here. We get almost every every big store that's in Toronto is here. Everything. We got the brick, we got Leon's, you got, you got uh, Sleep Country, you've, you've got all the other big box stores, Walmart, and, and uh, all, everything. You got, and you got even got the same movie theater company here, and we got yeah, just about everything. I always tell people we got everything Toronto got except we don't have a subway. So, and we don't need a subway because we're too small. Our city's too small, we don't need a subway. We got ferry terminals, that will take the, take the place of, our, of not having a subway. We don't need a subway, it's too small. I'm on Ivanhoe Street, how about that? Look, Ivanhoe, Ivanhoe Street. You never know what you're gonna, see here what what street what, what that was a new one to me Ivanhoe Street mm -hmm. oh well I am I am wandering the south end and let's see 
So don't forget that little park was off of Wellington. I believe it was 111, no, that was 1111 Roby, but it was off of Wellington too. That was the back end. If you stay right on Roby and come across the city towards the south end, you'll come to that park. Joe, so you got a good idea now where it is. Okay. All right, let's see where we at now. We're at South Park. South Park Street. So we won't go that way because they don't go too much farther that way. So let's walk up South Park this way. Which, whoops, my, my gimbal's flying all over the place here. Okay, this, this don't stand the wind very good. So, and I'm trying to straighten it, but it doesn't want to do that either. So, oh, it, it's really bad right now. I had to angle it different so it would keep working. All right, well, it is what it is. It's still balanced anyway, so we can continue on our video. I think I might go up and hang out at Starbucks maybe until time to go home. I know I'm going to get into... Uh, Do what, you, what you call a rush, rush territory if I don't get home before a certain hour. But I'll see when I get up there how the time looks. I can't look at the time right now because I'd have to do something to my phone to see the time. And I don't want to interrupt my video, so. Anyway, we are walking up South Park. Which... I guess you would say, um, South Park, South Park, South Park runs south to north, I believe, north south, what it looks like. Well, like I say, I don't know all the streets down here in the, in the south end like I do. I know it better in the north end, but, no, my, my gimbal doesn't want to respond to my, to my trigger. There it is, finally. I think it was me. I think I was hitting the edge of it. And, and not actually hitting the trigger. Cause it seems to be working all right now. So. Okay. The Uncommon Grounds. I think it's a restaurant in there maybe. Yes, look, a little coffee house down in there. Wow, that's amazing. Uncommon grounds. I gotta go there one day and try that out. All I got on me today is my Tim cards and my and my Starbucks card, so I can't go there because I don't have money for that. But I I can go to Starbucks or Tim Hortons. That's the only two I can go to because I got cards for there. Well, if I really, really wanted to go, I could use my bank card, but I don't like to. There we go, I got this straightened up. I try not to use my bank card if I don't have to. Then... My uh, coffee cards come in handy when I want to get a coffee. So that's why I'm gonna go to Starbucks today. Cause, uh, I don't go there every day because it costs a little more. But there's things I like about Starbucks. They've got a good internet in there. And I got to officially sign in. I'm not a person that remembers things like emails because I don't ever send anybody an email. Okay, so I got a Gmail, <coughs> which... I can't say it out I can't say it in the right way to put it in order. But I discovered it's on my phone. So I know how to look it up now. I didn't know how to do that before. But now how to look it up now and see what my Gmail address is. Because I have to put that in to get get my uh, my iPad on 
onto the system at Starbucks. My phone was done a long time ago and it stays that way unless you want to cancel it, but I put my uh, Starbucks cards usually right on my phone and just tap my phone when I go in. But I got one right now, I didn't do that with it, so. But I still tap my phone for the points and use my card. It's all the same thing. And, uh, Now, let me see. I, I think I'm going in the right direction. We'll find out when I get up there. I should come to something I know if I am. I was down by Roby before. I should be coming up to the, to the, what do you call it? Uh, um, Victoria Park area. I should be coming up to that soon if I'm going the right direction. But I, like I said, I'm not as good on the on the south end as I am the north end. So I think I'm going the right direction. That's all I can say. I think. If I'm going the wrong direction, it's going to be a much longer video. How's that? I got to remember where that little coffee place was. That was cute. Go right down in the basement and there's a coffee shop in there. They probably cater to university students because I am in the university area. I don't think I'll pass for a student, but I think I'm welcome in there. So most of those places that cater to students, they have internet and you can get hooked up on your tablet and your and all that stuff. Okay, I am right behind. I gotta wait now. I'm right behind the hospital. Yeah, I think I'm going the right direction. I believe I am. Yes, because there's South Street. I walked on that a long time ago when I was on my walk. When I started out today, I was on South Street. So now I'm intersecting South Street and I'm going north. All right, let's go. Let's keep on our journey. There's certain landmarks that I know, and that's the hospital. That's where I had my cataract surgery. Both eyes, I had to go twice, one for one eye, one for the other eye. So I did. That's where I had my cataract surgery. So when I get here and I see that, I got my bearings back again now. I know where I am. Okay. Well, that's my one of my spots that I know. I know where I'm at when I when I see the whoops on my phone's uh, doing something again. Okay, there we go. The hospital's right in there. Big parking lot here. And. One day I had to meet, my, meet up with my wife down here. And she doesn't know this area very good because she doesn't deliver stuff in here usually. And she had a delivery for the hospital. And so I met up with her down here, told her I'd watch her truck and make sure she didn't get any tickets. Usually if you're on delivery, the ticket guy won't, won't give you a ticket if you got a delivery truck. Anyways. But I stayed here with it and she left her four ways going and I only saw one ticket guy and he came up the other side of the road and he didn't even look at it. So it worked out good. And that, whoop, there we go. Yeah, so anyway, I won't forget this uh, street. Okay, so question. Well, this has been a nice walk. I'm not done yet. I didn't have to plug my battery in to my phone yet because it's, it's a little warmer today. That's what it is. It doesn't like the cold. It's a little bit warmer today. When I get up to Spring Garden Road, I'm going to go down to Starbucks and 
hang out there, I guess, for a little bit. And then I got to catch a bus and go home because I still have to go pick up my my son and my wife from their places of work. University Avenue. Some temporary houses down here in the park. I don't know if there's very many or if that's the only one. Oh, there's a tent over here. My, my phone's flying all over the place here. There it is, okay. I gotta try and keep it pointed one way because when I turn it, it doesn't want to turn. So I'm gonna have to uh, watch that. All right, so we're gonna have a good, we're gonna be close to an hour by the time I get done. So far, my battery hasn't acted up. If it does, I'm going to grab my cable quickly and poke it in this battery cable hole thing before it dies. So you got a few minutes. If I get it on my screen, it says low battery, I'll have time to grab my cable and plug it in. Because my battery's in my backpack, but the cable's hanging out into one of the pockets, and I just got to reach down there and grab it. And, I'll get in, if that happens. If it don't, then okay. All right, we'll make our way up to, I know where university comes out on Spring Garden, but I might, Jig jog, we'll see. There's a lot of parts to the hospital here. It's not all it's not all one big building. There's another part there. And there's part of that big hospital right there. That we walked across to the parking lot area. And there's a lot of parts here. When I went in for my cataract surgery, I went in that exit right there. Right in, right in between those two buildings, there's an exit. That's where I went in the day I got my cataract surgery. Old days, right in there. But the big parking lot is out behind. And there is a parking lot right here. I think this is where we parked one time and another time. We parked up the street at a parking meter. When you're parking anywhere it's down by the hospital, you better pay your parking or you're gonna get a ticket. Because those parking enforcement guys, this is one of their favorite spots. They can make a good ticket quota just walking around these streets here. Many, many people just stop and figure, oh, I'm just gonna be 15 minutes or so. I'm not gonna bother putting anything in, I'll make it. And then he comes along while they're parked there and there it is. It's wham, you get, you get uh, a ticket put on your window. 
And in the hospital zone, it's probably higher than it is in some of the other areas. So we're on the university campus, you can see that. There's uh, Summer Street. And I might as well go down Summer Street and then I'll take another street over. Nova Scotia Arthritis Center. It says rehabilitation, but it's not like a, a crime rehabilitation. It's a Arthritis Center of Nova Scotia. And they send you there to try to help you, I guess, if you have arthritis. There's a lot of medical specialties here in this city because this is where they train doctors. Family doctors uh, train here and, and surgeons, heart surgeons and, and all kinds of things. They train right here under the guidance of somebody who has been doing it a long time. I know when I got my, <clears throat> when I got my eyes done, there was a doctor there who was in training, but my other doctor was right there too. And then they were giving him the hands-on experience and he was right there to make sure all went well. I wasn't worried because my doctor was a very competent person and the, and the woman who, 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 who was still training did a good job too. They both did a fantastic job. Oh. All right, we gotta get our way. We gotta make our way up again. Go in this direction, but we gotta turn left somewhere here, maybe right here. If I turn too many times, I might lose my direction. We'll go over one more, one more measure where that traffic light is. Then we'll go up from there. Maybe I should have stayed on University Avenue, but I didn't. So we'll see. Okay, good thing I did turn. Because I'm at Spring Garden Road right now, right there. And I have got to go. You know what? I don't even know which direction I'm supposed to go until I get over here. Okay, I have to go across the street and turn right on Spring Garden Road. Hope you're enjoying this walk because you're seeing parts of the city that you haven't seen before. Spring Garden Road right here. Hopefully there's not too much wind down here. I keep hoping that at every turn that it won't be a lot of wind. So hopefully this way is good as well. Feels like it's even better. Okay, we're good. So now we gotta make our way down. And I'll see what time it is when I get down to Starbucks area. That's where I'll finish my video. Catholic school right here, so you're right. And of course, uh, 
World famous public gardens is right over there. We're not going today because this video is not about public gardens today. This is this is just learning some of the streets in the South End. That's what this is. While I while I learn, you learn, okay? And that's how that's going today. I can tell the difference in the temperature today from yesterday. Yesterday it was cold. It was below zero. Today it's plus four. Could have gone up a little now. Could be plus five. And tomorrow's supposed to be cold. So that's one reason I went out and made my video today. Because this video is for Wednesday. And this is only Monday. So if it's really cold tomorrow, I can take the day off and uh, just go to the coffee shop and have coffee and forget about videos tomorrow if it's really cold. And because this is for Wednesday. So I'm good for a couple of days and then I've got to get one for Friday, which I don't have yet. But I got a couple of days to do that. My friend Timothy, I know you watch all my videos. You can tell I'm on Spring Garden Road now. The Lord Nelson is right over there. The park is right there. And South Park Street is right there. And that little park is Victoria Park, right across the street from Public Gardens, which is a park. This is a nice little park too. If you like pigeons, it's a really nice park. The pigeons are very tame and they love you to feed them. And if you hold out your arms like a tree, they'll land right on your arms and, and stay there as long as you got food for them. I'll show you what I mean by all the pigeons. Maybe I can see them already on the ground. There you go. There's all the pigeons. So if you like pigeons, Victoria Park is a great place to come to. Don't think I set my lunch down and expect it to stay intact, but anyways. We're getting to the business part of Spring Garden Road now. too far to walk to get the Starbucks not too much farther down here then I gotta check my time this video will be over an hour we started on South Street this morning ended up on South Park we took in a whole bunch of streets in between that and ended up on Spring Garden Road, South Park. All right, there you are, Timothy, the Lloyd Nelson Hotel right here. My friend Timothy, when he comes down to visit, he's coming down again this spring for a visit, and that's where he stays, right there at the... Roger, the, the Nelson, Lloyd Nelson, there we go. Hotel and Suites. Okay, now we're on to Spring Garden Road, the busy part of it. The business, the business area. I know I made a lot of videos on Spring Garden Road, but this, this is not about Spring Garden Road. This is just happens to be here. I have to walk this to get to, to get to Starbucks. So, bear with me if I've been here before.
So we'll sign off at Starbucks. I'm gonna go till I get to there. Then we'll sign off, okay? Which isn't much farther. Just down here. We're almost there. Then I can sign off when I get right to Starbucks. We'll sign off, which is right down here. Anybody recognize that sign hanging out over there? That green sign? That's Starbucks. Okay. This is where I'm coming, right here. And I'm going to sign off in this corner. So if you enjoyed this video, this little walk around the south end today. Push that like button. If you're not yet a subscriber, I'd love it if you became a subscriber. And if you are a subscriber already, thank you so much. And all the ones that have made comments about my videos, it's all been positive, it's all been good. We don't have any bad friends on here. We're all good, all good friends. All the people that talk to us are good, good friends on here. So, with that, if you are a subscriber, thank you. And if you make comments, thank you for that. And with that, you have a great day. Take care, be safe, and we'll see you all on the next video. All right, bye for now.